This is what I mean by this deck isn't for the faint of heart, because, like, it's a one in three. That's the best case. What am I saying? This deck's awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Marvel Snap video today. Uh, today, I got a deck that, if I'm being honest, is not for the faint of heart. Uh, I don't even, uh, like, I, this is the kind of deck that you play every now and then. Uh, but I could see you switching off it very quickly, and it's because it's like the discard deck the and the destroy deck kind of mixed together, a little bit of both. Uh, where some games, you know, you you draw really well, you have really, really powerful, like insanely strong turns, and then other turns, uh, you like consistently have the worst card in your hand to be discarded, discarded, and you're like, wow, I, I feel silly now. Or, um, you know, they copy your Apocalypse that you had to build your deck around to get to 20 power, and they White Queen it, and then you they have like a, a 6 mana 20 power Apocalypse to match yours, and you're like, oh, well, that sucks, but it's fun. I, I mean, I, I don't know, I said all those negative things, but it's really fun. You know, it's it's an exciting deck. You have really exciting turns. Um, so let's just go over the cards. Uh, pretty standard. I feel like this deck is not... Like, I, I don't feel like I'm, like, reinventing the wheel here. Like, I, if you've played in pool one and pool two, I even start to see the pool three cards now and stuff like that. You know what this deck does, at least roughly. You know, you got Nova. Uh, when it dies, it gives all your cards stronger effects. So you have some of the destroy cards mixed in with some of the discard cards because they kind of follow along similar axes sometimes. So, like, Nova you want to destroy. Um, Bucky Barnes you want to destroy. Bucky Barnes super powerful if you destroy it. Then you got Carnage, which is insanely strong with both of those cards. Um, Wolverine, which is kind of a free roll to get discarded or destroyed. So it's like a pretty minimal effect, but it is a free roll. So if it gets discarded, it's not that bad. If it gets destroyed, it's not that bad. You know, you, you replenish the power in another area, and if you like destroy it with Carnage or something like that, you gain stats for destroying it, and then it just gets redistributed to the stats either back to the same tile or to another tile. Um, but it can kind of mess you up, but it's still fun. Like again, th this deck is, it's, it's not for the faint of heart. You're going to have some, you're going to have some exciting games where you have to think on your feet, you know? Um, Sabretooth, uh, one of the last cards I'm getting in pool two here. When this card is destroyed, return to your hand, it costs zero. This card's way stronger than Wolverine, in my opinion. Uh, this card's really good in this deck, um, with the destroy package. The other destroy card is Deathlock. I wish I had another good destroy effect, but at least with the pool two cards that I found, I don't, but... Deathlock and Carnage are both really strong on their own. The games that you draw them and you get to do this whole like destroy shenanigans thing, it's very good. Uh, then moving on to the discard package, you have uh, Morbius. Uh, and if you kind of you kind of like get in this position sometime where Morbius is only going to be like two or four power, and if Morbius is going to be that weak, you can just like cycle him to Carnage, or he gets discarded and you don't really care about it. But when you do have the game where you're discarding like five or six cards, because of like you know, doubling your on-reveal effects or something like that, or, um, like, you discard a swarm really early, and then every time you discard a swarm, you, like, add two to your hand, so you're up two cards, so you kind of end up in this cycle where you don't really run out of cards like you do when you're just, like, actually, like, playing a card to discard a card. Um, Blade, really powerful three drop, you know, one mana for three power is strong, and then it discards a card. Um, what else? Swarm. Uh, when this card is discarded from your hand, add two copies that cost zero to your hand. You know, a powerful effect. Very useful if it gets discarded early. Uh, Wolverine, again, destroyed or discarded comes into play. Lady Sif is really good because uh, it discards the highest cost card from your hand. So you have controlled discard with this. So you can consistently discard Apocalypse, which is the only six cost card in your deck. Um, and then Swordmaster is a three mana, six power, discard a card from your hand. This card is, is just pretty strong by itself uh, without this package, honestly. Swordmaster just has like really insane stats. Um, and when you have like discard payoffs, it's really useful. Again, uh, kind of a casino style deck where you're just like playing it and sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you have really cool games. Other games, uh, you're like, wow, good thing I didn't snap on this and good thing I'm retreating at one cube. So you can kind of like, know when you're gonna have a better game to snap on you know you you with this deck you have a more informed snap decision than your opponent than most other decks because you can snap like turn one with this deck and be like oh i have you know nova into bucky barnes into carnage and you'll have an insane turn three board state and you're like opponent can't do anything or you're like oh, I have only discard payoffs in my hand, so that's awesome. So I have turn one blade, and then I have Swarm Wolverine Apocalypse in my hand, and I have no bad hits. You know, like, there's no card I, I can discard that's bad. And you can make those informed snap decisions, but sometimes, you know, you just gotta roll the dice a little bit, and it's funny. But, yeah, it's an exciting deck. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.
This is the card. This is the lane we want all our cards to straight in. Cards that cost four, five, or six can't be played here. Eight. So let's go three drop here. It'll discard Apocalypse, which is good. Bucky. Uh, not the Bucky turn yet. I think we're still gonna play this here. And it's not perfect, but I mean, it's 10 power. They, it's hard for them to play right. And then we also have a 33% chance of discarding Apocalypse. And then we don't really care if we lose any of these other two cards. We really want a Carnage, though. Carnage would be very useful. That's a good hit. That's a good hit. 16, eh? So we're gonna snap, um, and it's gonna go something like this, I think. Where next turn we can play Apocalypse there to have the highest chance of winning. Maybe I'm just supposed to go double right and forsake middle. I think I'm actually supposed to go double right and forsake middle because it's just so unlikely that this tile is gonna win. I mean, like if it, they're they're probably gonna commit more resources there, and then left is gonna be strong. The fact that they can't play four, fives, or six is very good for us. Here, at least. No so much power. Rogue. That's fine. Wow, all four going there. It's crazy. And so now they need way too many cards to win there. And I can either play to middle or I can play to left. I flip first. I think I... I tie left to claw. I tie middle to claw. So to play to left would be to win left. Is it actually safer to do something else? Is it safer to do this? I think it is because if they have claw, which I've lost to once today, this is a bunch of power. This is five. Is this just more power? It also adds to the left, obviously. But we get a Winter Soldier. Plus one to everything. I, I feel like this is actually more power. I haven't done the math, but then this also beats Claw, and it grows the right. So if they have like a way to grow the right side. Uh, this also isn't weak to Shang-Chi. Which would obviously be really lame and cringe for us. So it might look a little extra there, but so if we, we would lose to Claw, and I lost to Claw previously, because Claw is like plus three or whatever here where we would probably tie, but then if it adds six here, then we'd tie there, be down one here, win left, um, or there's just like ways we could lose, because like Claw adds plus seven to the right because they play Claw, Bishop gets plus one, so they're adding seven. I think I would prefer not playing Carnage this turn. That's better for sure. I think. This is actually really good. I kind of want to almost snap on this. And we're going to redraw, which is like the biggest downside of the deck is that you run out of cards. Uh, it complicates things a little bit. But so now I can go Blade here, Carnage here, and then I'm super happy with whatever it hits because, I mean, like no matter what, my hands being reshuffled next turn. So this is just growing my board like crazy. I feel like this is slightly better. And I don't really, I mean, I don't want the card, oh, they destroy that tile. So that might be unwinnable for us. Actually, with the Strange Academy, it could be winnable because we could end up um, shuffling cards in there, which is interesting. So we redraw Apocalypse, and then we have a Swordmaster. And I think we play Swordmaster here. 
and then well it's actually it's probably not even worth it actually because if we play Swordmaster here I mean their Sunspot's just gonna soak mana and they're gonna win it where if we play Swordmaster middle we can win left and then like we could also just have strange again cards from the Strange Academy go there we're like now this Sunspot is just gonna like win them free real estate where like it's not really worth our time so what card do I want to the middle is the question and I think Morbius is just objectively the most stats, right? And then I can play Wolverine here because it doesn't really matter. And this is mostly for tiebreakers. Uh, but then last turn of the game, I can play Apocalypse far left, and it's really good. Yeah, that's fine. Doesn't matter at all, actually. So now I need 20 power to win this tile, which I do not think they have. Man, most decks I feel like get kind of hosed by Italian, or however you say it, but we just kind of went crazy with it, huh? The fact that our deck just like lost nothing from it is pretty insane. Oh man, imagine if they were a destroyer deck. I think we actually beat destroyer though, because they add 15. So it's 15 to 23, we say seven. So we would actually win if they were a destroyer deck here. Nice. That keeps happening, which is pretty unfortunate. Because, like, any of the other outcomes are pretty good. Wolverine survives Sokovia. So now there's again only one bad hit for uh, for this. Okay, so Swarm's fine. So it's actually probably best there. Their own Wolverine. Um. So where do I want the Saber Tooth to die? You know, I guess I can play Sabretooth left, Deathlock left, and then I can move cards there if I need to, and then it's actually not that bad. Play Jessica Jones there, which is fine. I don't think I'm playing for there like crazy, honestly. Is this ongoing? This is ongoing. We're gonna snap on that. So I think we're likely to win two lanes now, because I think they have I think like the Deathlock threatens them enough where they have to go left. And I think if they go left, we're gonna win in the other two lanes with the two cards we have. Now we get the free saber tooth, and then we get um, the other card, obviously the Morbius, which is doubled. So Bucky and Carnage there. Which is fine. Set, okay. We have our own Nova, which doesn't really change anything that much. I think I'm committing right pretty hard. So this is 16. This is 20. Is 16 enough to win there? Probably. I feel like I feel like they have to send something left. Where I can win middle and right this way. They already lost a claw. Buckleps. Sure. Okay. It's that easy. I want to. I want to bump you back, but I can't right now. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. I wish it didn't do that. I like Hearthstone lets you uh, kind of just do it whenever. That was a good game though. Hope keeps telling me to sit up straight, so I'm trying to listen to her at least a little bit about sitting up straight. Uh, so playing Andrew Blade. It's 
So I'm going to play Wolverine left, even though it makes a copy. And I, I don't really want another Wolverine, but I do want two buffed Carnages. Which is uh, different, but probably better. Can I Sabretooth this turn? Can I Greed the Carnage? I think I can Greed the Carnage. I have two. I mean, the bigger the Carnage is, the better it is for me, honestly. Ice Man, don't you dare. Okay. Okay. You seeing this? You seeing this nonsense? Well, now I have another Bucky that I don't want. And another tile. I mean, I guess if it goes left, it's fine. And now I have two Carnages, which is like two huge Carnages too. I think we, I think we stop on that. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the best tile I could have landed on. That's back in our hand for free. We get an eight Carnage and then an eight Carnage there. And then these flip again, which is always complicated. Okay. Again, so complicated always. They have three cards in hand, so it's very realistic they'll be able to discard that. So how do I vomit out my hand the most? Um, I think my best case scenario is... I think I Swordmaster left. And then Swordmaster left, I am then going to be able to Apocalypse left, get a second Apocalypse. And then I also have the Sabretooth to fill in the missing slot. That seems best. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Dodged both Apocalypses, which is always sad, but that's Iron fine. Man. Iron Man. Okay. I already snapped, right? So I want the Apocalypse going right, because I'm definitely winning middle, and then, yeah, that seems best. I don't actually think I want to play Blade. Now that Apocalypse is gone, I mean, like, what's going to happen? Man, this this Nova just is never going to see the light of day. At the same spot where I kind of just don't want to play the Blade because I am probably going to run out of cards later in the game where it's like, what's the point? You know? I can't believe I'm actually playing the Noah, even even though I talked all that shit. But then I can go three, add two here. This becomes large. I can play then blade on the left, which is good. <sighs> unlucky. Very unlucky. Four cards in hand. I just don't know if that does it. 
I'm just trying to think. I mean, so like, Ant Man is like the best card they could have here. But if they just play like a two drop, if they play, if they play a one, like if they play two, it's four. I win here. If if they play like a card that's only worth four power here, which I think is likely. Um, so they snap. I'm not gonna lose to the snap. I don't think. If they didn't snap, I would have seen it out. But since they snap, it's like not worth it. The fact that they played the armor into the turn, I played the three cost Nova is just so brutal. This is a pretty dream like curve in some ways. Until they play armor here and then I like cry myself to sleep. And then I just am stuck with two cards here worth two power, but whatever. Angela. Carnage more optimal? No, probably not. This is... Well, what's Carnage and what's Deathlock? I could always play Deathlock on a future turn in another tile. I could always just play Deathlock here now, actually. And then, then these both get buffed by Carnage. I think that's actually a little bit better. Oh, this is looking. That looked really good for me now. That looks a lot better for me now. And then it's a 50 50. I think, we seven, I think we're winning left now for sure. And then right's in a really good spot. Uh, middle might be unwinnable, but I think that's fine. We also flip first, so if they play an armor on the left, like we're still gonna win it. And they can't play a four drop here that's gonna win them the square. I can't think of a single card that wins them left now. So I'd sell. Yeah, I hit the wrong card of course, but that's fine. Yeah, you can have a swarm, that's totally fine. And so left is unplayable for them now, and I think it's actually really hard for them to win it. So I think we just go swarm there, and then we can play Apocalypse middle the following turn. Did I snap? Yeah, I did. Or die now, huh? So what the hell are they playing the last turn of the game where they can win right? This is actually like kind of the best card we could have here. First of all, they have to play th uh, they have to play four cards here that equal twenty to win, and it doesn't even beat it like we beat a Shang Chi. I struggle to imagine how we lose this square. Yeah, we have 120 power because they're behind on cards. Not sure. Still win? Still win. Nice. Killmonger made sense there. I didn't really consider like what they could have had that deeply, honestly, but Killmonger makes sense. I mean, Apocalypse is beating a Dino. Just not in that square. But if they win middle, then I'm in the safe spot of like losing with Apocalypse. So it's kind of awkward. Yeah. I don't know. That's a, that's a tough decision. Well. Not exactly ideal. Uh, we're going to play Blade here because it's a good 50-50. Well, I'd say it's uh, t two thirds to uh, one third, so it's a sixty-six percent chance of good. And that's all from our opponent. Okay, that's fine. I would have preferred the swarm here, if I'm being honest, but that's still fine. A copy of a card in your opponent's hand. Sure. Get our own blade again, or we get another blade, I should say. Um, sure. Let's play that here. Yeah, this is better. And now we could maybe do what we were trying to do before and like not mess it up. Like maybe we don't even play Apocalypse here. I'm not sure. A random card here for each player. Okay, so we're both getting a random card here now. Minus Mystique. 
That doesn't do anything. And they get a Morbius, so both of us get nothing. Okay, that's hilarious. Both of us got trash. Uh, let's play Sabretooth here. Then I'll Carnage here next turn. And then let's Blade this turn. Ugh, God, it's so awkward. Can I Carnage and Sabretooth next turn? I can. I suppose it's just Carnage now and not greet it. No, I mean, I guess... Well. Oh, you gotta take some risk, I guess. What are the odds it all goes terrible again? Okay, Swarm is the best draw. Or the best hit there, I should say. By far the best hit there. And so now we're gonna snap. Do we want Wolverine just going to a random spot? I don't think so. Am I sure I want that there? No, I don't think I am. Let's go all in. We've got we've we already gambled our cues gonna go in. Oh I uh I ordered that wrong? No, it's ordered the same. Yeah, it was ordered wrong. Slightly. Slightly unoptimal there for sure. So they lose left, we win middle, and we probably win well they have to like commit to right now. I ordered that if I play the Carnage last there, these get buffed, I think. So I'm missing like three power here, which is pretty huge. I was trying to think of why the Sabretooth wasn't buffed. Uh, the Sabretooth lost a buff and then gained a buff because of Jotunheim. So it like went minus one, then plus one. So it's equal. Uh, this is still good. Played a lot more cards than I was expecting, I'm going to be honest. Blade doesn't really scare me. Hi, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Uh, currently, I'm making a Marvel Snap video every day. So if you enjoy Marvel Snap videos, if you enjoy my content, you know, consider dropping a like and uh, maybe subscribing. It uh, helps me and help support our cat Gunther. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day.